The Minister of Finance has proposed levying a 5% tax on all profitable digital companies in Uganda. Concerned experts have responded to this plan by calling it double taxation and saying that government is putting these corporations at a risk of seizing their digital services in the nation despite the fact that Uganda needs them more than they do. Should this tax be imposed, we're looking at so many hindrances where we are right now. Right now, 80% Economy is about seventy percent of us are using Android. Android is a Google product. If you impose this tax, what will happen? We're already having the challenge with smart penetration. The price of a smartphone is very high. If you impose this tax, what will happen to the price of a smartphone? It will go up tremendously. So it is going to affect us more than it will affect. So sometimes when the government goes into implementing these taxes, you have to look at who is losing more and who is going to gain more. When you go to buy uh, these subscriptions, um, you already pay taxes. So they are paying taxes in their jurisdiction. For me, who is earning as a local Ugandan uh, from these services, I also have to pay taxes. So it's going to be double taxation on both sides. The government is proposing to add a new clause to Section 86A of the Principal Act and impose a tax on non-residents who provide digital services in the Income Tax Amendment Bill 2023. Chris Bariongosi, the Minister of Information, Communication, Technology and National Guidance, says that government is widening its tax collection base. Therefore, it's prudent for these foreign companies to pay tax. Companies like Twitter, like Facebook and other platforms and I know in the other countries they pay taxes, so there's nothing wrong because the government is trying to widen the tax base and uh, if local companies here pay taxes, so why wouldn't a foreign-based company pay also taxes because if all of us are using Twitter, if all of us are using Facebook or Instagram, then those companies are benefiting and therefore making a contribution to the tax base of this country, I think it's not, it's not wrong. So we shall discuss this proposal, and I think it is good for us as a country. They do get money, that is okay. But do we have an alternative? Do you have something that can combat growth where we are? Do you have a system that can, can level up with Oracle, that is Ugandan, is African at the moment? According to information in the Income Tax Amendment Bill 2023, digital companies that receive income from providing digital services to a Ugandan customer over the internet, an electronic network, or online platform are subjected to this tax. As much as this suggestion will be discussed, Kevin Wava, the managing director of Sunbelt Holdings and a finance expert, urged the government to adopt a comprehensive approach because, in the alternative, it may end up losing. We need to do a very good deep dive and categorize what this imposed non-resident tax that the government is imposing. So we look at it in a holistic approach. And what categories do we want to look at first? We can say high, medium, and low. And then we come up with benchmarks against which we can feel is equitable and government can feel comfortable. Yes, this uh, should be you're in Uganda, you're doing this, and this is medium to low risk, but this one, the impact is negligible, all these ones can be waived for certain reasons. But if you blanket it, then that means uh, it's, it's blah, it's not very clear. In 2016, the United Nations Human Rights Council released a non-binding resolution noting that the Internet is a catalyst for the enjoyment of human rights, most notably the right to freedom of expression and condemned international disruptions of the Internet access by governments, further reaffirming that the same rights people have offline must also be projected online. However, the president of Uganda has frequently expressed his contempt for social media sites while urging that they should be taxed in order to stop public charter and generate cash for the government. Pedson Mumbere Smart 24 TV Business Today.